lovely people, it's Cara here and I am so, so mad. So Happy New Year to everybody. I hope you had a wonderful um, Christmas break, whatever it is you got up to. There's a whippet walking past the chair there and wobbling my camera, great start. Um, but yeah, hoping you're all staying safe and well um, and had a lovely time over the Christmas period. So um, following on from a recent poll, I've not done one of those before, so thank you so much to everybody who engaged with that. Um, I did a poll over on Instagram. If you're not following me there, please pause the video and go and click on the um, follow uh, on Instagram at so, so Mad because I love the interaction I can have with you um, over there as well. So I did a poll, which should come first, recent makes or 2021 sewing plans. Had to think about that then, didn't I? Um, and over on YouTube I'm able to add some more options um, but it, sewing plans for 2021 came out first as well so thank you for that um, and actually to create the content today I've actually videoed another um, video that actually takes me through my own fabric stash and it turns out my pattern stash as well because I wanted to um, even make sure that the ratio of use of my current um, fabric and patterns uh, is is way up there with um, purchasing any new ones because it just seems like a more sustainable thing to do and it's obviously better on the pocket as well. Um, still, uh, yeah, I'm still waiting to move house and all those sorts of things so I just need to be a little bit cautious. So that video will come after this one as it shows you some of the process of how I've come up with my sewing plans. Um, but I did do it in two parts. I went through my own stash and my own patterns to see what I could come up with and then sort of inspire myself with that. But I also sat down and wrote down the plans as well, um, just in my head. Um, and it's quite interesting actually, because some of them match, but some of them are different. And I've influenced myself, which seemed like a, a good idea. Oh, there's another whippet. Oh, another whippet wombling, wombling past, wandering whippets rather. So what are my plans? Well, the first one is actually not a sewing related one. The first one is to do with crochet. Now, don't worry, I'm not about to go off piste and suddenly turn this into a crochet and sewing um, YouTube. Well, maybe famous last words, but I can't see myself becoming an expert anytime soon. But I didn't ask for very many things for Christmas because it, um, it's not I'm not in that situation, but um, I did ask for a crochet kit. Um, and this is an amazing little kit. It's just from Amazon. It's got um, obviously the, the, the crochet needles there, and then there's a tape measure and some needles and some huge pins. Um, and then in the back here, there's a much, much tinier crochet. Um, I imagine they must use cotton or something like really delicate lace sort of and then I believe there's some markers in here as well so that was fascinating um, and then of course I looked on YouTube to get inspiration don't we all um, and actually one of my f um, fellow Felicity Fabrics bloggers um, actually a couple of them crochet um, but Jane from Loopy Mobile's Closet, and I'll put a link up here to her channel. She has her own channel on crochet, and um, she's been inspiring us. Um, uh, a couple of us want to learn to crochet. So I gave it a go. Um, I'm not going to win any prizes here at all. Um, but yeah, this, I think this was the first square I made. Um, I wanted to make a, an, an enormous blanket. Um, but then I figured actually maybe I should get some techniques under my belt um, and these are these are bite-sized chunks if you like so yeah so I've made three squares I think so far um, do you know what the fact that they're not the same they're not exactly the same size the squares aren't exactly even and all those sorts of things but it is it's pretty much a square which I understand is is quite an accomplishment for a, a first time of I do love that though, look, it looks really intricate. In intricate. Um, so crocheting is my number one um, plan for this year and going to learn to, to crochet. 
and as I filmed today, um, we we're actually in the process of setting up a, um, a Zoom call with a few of the Felicity Fabric girls. Um, Jane's going to um, Zoom call some crochet tips for us, and I believe we're going to make some wrist warmers. Although when I saw the picture, my first thought was, wow, they look intricate. Um, I'm not sure I could make that. But I'm assured that it is possible that it can be done. So yeah, let's see. Let's see what I come up with. So that's um, that's just one thing that I, I want to get on and, and do this year. I wrote myself some notes, um, and the process of um, going through my um, fabric and pattern stash really has outlined to me what I want to make this year. Now, um, as you'll tell from what I'm wearing today, this is um, this is another Molly dress. Um, I love this. I love this pattern so much. Um, it's a, it's from the Sew Over It um, original uh, ebook. So it's just a. You know, can't really see the length of it there. So you can see the edge here. Just really easy kimono sleeve. Um, so you can either make it short or you can add the long sleeves. I'm all about the comfy and cosy. And um, although I am working, I've been working all the way through. Um, my business isn't affected by the tier four um, closures. So um, I'm not in lockdown, so I'm working all the time. This isn't one of the things I wear to work, but I know majority of people will be looking at cozy wear and keeping warm, you know, clothes that look smart but comfortable. And this sort of thing is ideal. And actually my wardrobe plans are no different to anyone else's. I'm looking for comfort and I'm looking for warmth at this time of year. But then as the season goes on, I want to make things that are trans transitional across into um, you know, spring and summer because that will happen it, you know the seasons will change but this oh my word um, I'm hoping to get this video out to you this this week right at the beginning of January at the moment and this is just the softest French terry it's got a lovely um, sort of furry back to it it's not like fleecy but it's so soft um, and it's very very forgiving some French terries I've worked with before crease, and that sounds a bit strange, but they do, or their recovery is not very well. Um, and I find that if I've worn like something like this all day, you sort of get these creases up your arm, um, whereas this one is just, yeah, it's just lovely. Um, and I'm wearing this with black leggings today, um, although I could wear it with green tights. Um, that's lovely. So comfort is very much the order of the day. And I've got in front of me here all of the patterns that I'm, I'm planning to make. So my sewing plans for 2021. There's probably, I don't know, 15, 20 things here. Um, I'm, not, I'm not in any rush. I'm not, um, I'm, yeah, I'm working full time. Um, I work part time at Dragonfly Fabrics. I'm blogging for them and doing some filming and occasionally doing some of their packing and things. Um, I obviously have a husband and a daughter. I've got two dogs that you hear plenty of. Um, so let's yeah, just, just go with it. Because you know what? My number one plan, my number one sewing plan for 2021 is to do what makes me happy. And what makes me happy is not necessarily having the whole list of things to do. Um, in fact, that actually puts a little bit of pressure on my shoulders. Um, I actually just love having a hobby. I love having something that I can just reach out and do when I can. Um, I love being on the channel, so my sewing plans for 2021 include um, continuing to be with you. Um, and I think probably that'll be around once a fortnight, maybe sometimes more, sometimes some, maybe some, slightly less. The interaction I've had with you this last year um, has just, well, it's, it's changed me. Um, uh, sounds a bit deep, doesn't it? But I genuinely do love the friendships that I've created um, through, through this and through the blogging and through Dragonfly Fabrics, through Instagram. People from all around the world with the commonality of sewing, it's just a magical thing, it really is. Um, so yeah, so doing what makes me happy is my number one thing. Having plans but not, not being held by them is another. Um, going after comfort in conjunction with style would be another one. Um, I'm not worried about coordination and things like that. Um, I know what I make, um, I wear, and that's the key to a successful wardrobe, I think. Um, and looking at the pile here now, there's various colours here, but I know they'll coordinate with other things in my wardrobe. 
so what have I got in front of me? So I'll start with um, the tops, I think, because there's quite a few tops to get through. Um, and as I say, you'll see the process of how I came up with these um, in, a, in a future video, but I'll take you through it. Um, let me just set that aside a second. So, um, in no particular order, um, although I absolutely do adore this fabric. This is uh, the Lady McElroy fabric um, from Felicity Fabrics. It's got beautiful birds on it. And I'm going to make the Tillington blouse um, by the Suffolk, Sussex Seamstress. Um, now, I, I, I will, I absolutely will show you this pattern um, in a little bit more detail in um, a video that will be coming up in a few, a, two videos time so I haven't had a chance to film it yet. So the Tillington blouse, I will put a stock photo here. It's a beautiful gypsy blouse um, with sheared sleeves. Um, so that is going to be, um, I'm going to make that out of this fabric. Um, I've got a sort of a, a bit of a teal theme going on here because this again was from Felicity Fabrics. This is a lovely viscose jersey um, and yeah this has just got such beautiful drape on it. Um, um, yeah, this is going to be lovely. I haven't cut this out yet, um, so this is this is the pattern. But this is actually um, the um, Vera top from Forget Me Not Patterns. There's actually a free pattern, um, which is brilliant, um, and I've seen it made up in lots of different versions. I'll pop the stock photo up here for you. It's got lovely bishop sleeves, v-neck. You can also have it in crew neck as well, I think. So that is coming up um, uh, very soon. Um, let me just pop those two to the side somewhere. Um, I, there's a little bit of a theme with these next few because the sagebrush, um, I can't wait to actually make one. I keep talking about it um, and uh, I seem to have a pattern stuck in my head at the moment and that is the sagebrush because I just keep seeing lush, such lovely versions. Um, Tamlin from Sewn so on, so on the Time has just made one. Um, Liz from the Baker at the Sews that has made one. Um, Rebecca at Sewn at 65, she made one recently. Just oh, lots and lots of beautiful ones. I'm going to do people dis just, dis justice because there are just loads of different versions out there. And I want to make a sage rush out of this fabric. Um, and I also want to make one out of this fabric as well. Um, and again, I'll put a stock photo um, of, the, of the pattern I'm talking about. Um, just, uh, I'm gonna make a, um, I'm gonna make a ultimate shift dress top out of um, this fabric. And I'll talk about this fabric a little bit more in, in, the, in the video that's coming up, but it was a gift from Felicity, Fa a gift from Felicity Fabrics so thank you very much, Caroline and Fliss, for that. You're very, very kind. Um, this beautiful art gallery um, cotton, I, was, I think it's a visco, sorry. This is going to be the pyjama set um, from the... Yeah, sorry, going to be a pyjama set from the assembly line or the... Um, which is a free pattern. Um, again, I'll put a stock photo up here or it's going to be the um, free lounge set that came out last summer from Peppermint magazine. And I'm not sure how much fabric I need for that. I think I've probably got two and a half meters here. So depending on um, how much fabric the lounge set takes. Um, either that or the Sophia trousers um, from the Tilly and the Buttons um, book, because I just think some lovely wide leg trousers with a, maybe a white linen top would go really, really well. So watch this space for that one. Um, staying on the tops theme, um, I've got some stretch stretch ones here. Um, I think my husband's just about to come home, so um, yeah, it's gonna be chaos in just a second with lots of whippet feet and things. I'm going to make, uh, this is an Atelier br Brunette fabric. Now when I was doing, um, going through my fabrics, um, this is one of the lovely surprises kind of I found along with the art gallery fabric. I was surpri surprised that these fabrics had stayed in my stash so long. Um, but this, this fabric does crease and therefore I want to make something simple out of it. Um, I was thinking about the Libby shirt by Sew Over It, um, but in the end I'm going to make um, the, ultimate, the ultimate shift top. It's actually the ultimate shift dress, but you can make a top as well. It's really simple, it's got no closures on it or anything. 
and I just think that it's a really dark navy with these lovely squares on it. I think that would just look really smart with a pair of jeans. Smart but casual, totally usable and won't need too much ironing. Uh, will need ironing but not, not too much detail if that makes sense. Um, I said I wanted to make some comfortable things and I, out of this beautiful um, jersey here, um, this is from Tia Knight Fabrics, so I've got quite a lot of it here so I think I could make quite a few things. I definitely could see a Freya top out of this from Tilly and the Buttons but I'm actually going to make the Iris t-shirt. Now I haven't got a copy of it here but I'll put the stock photo up there for you. The Iris t-shirt has a lovely pleat on the shoulder uh, or if you make the three-quarter version it's got the pleat just here and I'm going to make the three-quarter version I think because I think that will be really transitional so I can't wait to to make that one. Um, now this one's a bit of a wild card um, and probably if I'm honest will be one of the I don't know I shouldn't know this fabric has been languishing in my stash almost since the since when I began sewing to a couple of reasons it's an unusually bright colour although I do like it um, it also doesn't have a lot of stretch um, so I get, get a little bit caught out because um, a lot of the tops that I make use the negative ease in order to make them fitted tops but I forget that this hasn't got stretch in it and then when I make the top the top's too small so note to self make a larger size but I always forget <laughs> so um, with this one I want to make the wanted top um, by Vanessa Fouze. Um, it's very popular a couple of years ago it's got a beautiful square neckline on it um, it's it's actually a French pattern in French funny that um, uh, so it does take a little bit of interpreting but I have made it once before so hopefully or that was years ago so hopefully I can remember how to do that so they're all the tops that I've got planned um, and actually quite a lot they're all quite simple actually so not, nothing too taxing there really then moving on to the bottom weight let's have a look here um, we're going to make a Zadie, I'm going to make a Zadie out of this one, um, beautiful bubble, bubble crepe they call this from, uh, this was from the textile centre, so I've got three metres there so that's easily enough to make a Zadie um, and I think that would look really nice layered up with a um, black polar neck underneath which I have recently made, um, which come up in my recent makes video. Now before I move on to the next, um, the next fabric wanted to talk to you about a pattern so I'm going to make the Persephone trousers um, out of um, out of well I'll show you the fabric so this is the fabric been languishing in my stash for a really long time and I'm going to make the Persephone trousers which um, I'll put the stock photo here they're a little bit like the lander pants but a little bit different but I wanted to talk to you about um, the company where I got the pattern printed so this is um, a company called Fabuloso, which I just think is a brilliant name. Fabuloso, oh, just genius. And I got contacted a number of months ago now um, uh, by, by the owner of Fabuloso. Sorry, I'm back with you, got distracted there. So I was talking to you about Fabuloso. Um, now Heather, who, who runs Fabuloso, contacted me back in October. Um, her husband um, and her decided to start a business doing um, AO printing um, for sewing patterns and um, she contacted me as she did with a number of um, my fellow sewists. I was honoured to be in that group um, as I know she's, yeah, she's spoken to Alex Judge Sews and I believe um, the baker that sews as well uh, amongst others um, and, and basically said would you um, like to do some AO printing with, with me? Um, you're under no obligation, um, but uh, if, if you would like to do that, um, I'd, like you to, um, I'd like to offer you some AO printing um, samples so we could print three patterns, for example. And then for the week after um, I showed this, she would offer you, my viewers, a 10% discount to use. Um, so I'll put the code for that um, and the details of it um, in the blurb below, which was incredibly kind. Um, I, I'm honoured that someone would reach out to me in that way. 
um, and I'm always happy to share my experience with you because it is my experience. Um, it's the same as what your experience would be. I just get to go ahead of you, if that makes sense, and celebrate or be honest with you about the experience of that. Okay, so chaos resumes in the background. My husband's come home, as I said he would, because the whippets are going mad and all that malarkey is happening all in the, in the background. So, so, sorry about that. There's a bit of a disjointed talk, way of talking about fa Fabuloso. But, so here we are. Um, I have been a PDF fan for a, quite a long time, so I do a lot of printing at home. But, um, having recently been doing the AOs, I can see exactly why people love it because it makes life so much easier. I also, in the past, have tried to do AO pattern printing before, and I got a bit caught up in the whole, how many pages is it, how do I get it from my computer to their site, etc, etc. Um, and so have shied away. In fact, I think that's probably why I didn't do AOs for such a long time. Um, but I can honestly tell you, I went onto the Fabuloso site, it, they only do, um, uh, sewing patterns, well that's my experience anyway, um, um, and I just found it so straightforward. I literally um, uploaded them from my computer, they appeared very very quickly. You do have to tell it how many pages they are, um, and that is visible when you're scrolling down your pages on your computer. Um, and this is the result. The other thing I would say, although I'm going to say it was, I'm bound to say it more than once, the speed of the service, even over Christmas, was phenomenal. Um, I and you get so you get an immediate email saying that they've got your, acknowledged your order, and then John, every time I've ordered, has emailed me the next day and said that they've been dispatched, and then they arrive um, very soon after that. And the only influence there was with that was Royal Mail over Christmas, and that's what uh, caused a slight delay. But where I in late October, I literally had the pattern, um, I think, within a day, which was amazing, absolutely amazing. And um, so I'm opening, I'm opening this out for the, for you to, um, be able to pick it up, I think, and show you. But I wanted to show you the quality of the fan, uh, of the paper here. So let me just pause the video, and I'm going to change the can, change the camera angle. Now I hope this is going to pick it up okay. So I wanted to show you it comes beautifully folded um, which yeah just makes the life a lot easier. Um, uh, it's a wonderful paper. It's actually um, what I would call sort of proper pattern paper. So it's, it's quite pliable to work with. And so Tilly in the buttons for example is quite thick. Um, but this is a traditional pattern paper. Now this is the Persephone trousers, which is um, what, why I was mentioning it. And I, I hope you can also see the clarity of their printing on the products here. I haven't experienced um, AO printing like that. Um, yeah, it's just lovely. Let me change back to camera angles and I'll carry on explaining about it. So as you can tell, my enthusiasm, and once again, I've got my glasses on, but I'll leave them on for a minute because I can see the pattern. They match my dress really well, actually. So um, yeah, fabuloso, fabulous printing um, is, is my summary. Um, very fast service, very easy to understand, um, very good value, two pounds a sheet. Um, I Because I, I went on to, I think it's called Plan 24 or something like that, and they wanted to charge me VAT, I think, or something. I couldn't really work it out. As I say, I'm, I don't have the experience that some of my other fellow sewists will have in terms of the comparison to other sites. What I can offer you in terms of my honest opinion is my experience of this site. And I thought it was brilliant. And I have used it um, three or four times um, above the... So I think I ordered two... I think I ordered, ordered two or three patterns no, two patterns initially, and since then I've used them two or three times, which um, is an indication of um, the success, I think, um, because I'm doing it you know, willingly and wantingly. So please, please, um, as I say, there's an offer 
um, that runs for seven days after this film goes out. I'll pop the link down to um, Fabuloso um, and I just encourage you to go and check him out. I did also check the site just a moment ago. Um, I don't know if they've add, added some things since I last looked. Oh, I was just focusing on the pattern to be honest. But they sell sewing labels and they've got some sewing needles there as well. So it'd be a really good way of getting some essential items um, whilst you're um, getting a plan printed. I'm going to pause the video so that I can fold this, this pattern up and I'll talk to you about the rest of my sewing plans. So that's something really exciting to um, share with you um, and yeah as I say it's just such a lovely community why wouldn't I want to share my experiences with you um, and I promise you that if it wasn't a good experience I would I would have shared it as well because there's no is you know it's good feedback whatever happens really um, so I don't know if you saw the fabric there but yeah that's what I'm going to make the Persephone trousers out of um, is, uh, I've had this fabric for a really long time so it'd be high time that I used that up. Um, just the last few things here, um, looks like a big stash but it's just three pieces of fabric. Um, I'm going to be making a tilly in the buttons out of a remnant um, of a uh, baby cord from Dragonfly Fabrics in this beautiful blush um, pink which I'm really looking forward to doing. Um, and that was the sort of a lovely discovery that I realised um, I had um, enough to make something else of because I didn't think I did. Um, there's a lovely sort of, it's almost like a velveteen chocolate brown here. Um, now I need your help really on that one because I'm looking for a shirt dress without a collar really. Um, remember the Dana um, dress from Sew so Over It? It's like a very simple v-neck then just button, buttons all the way down the front but I wanted long sleeves. I, perhaps I could just adapt that one actually and um, it's quite a simple pattern but if you have a pattern that you know of um, that's quite a simple dress a bit like the Darling Rangers but with um, without the gathers um, I would really appreciate that and then the final fabric that's at the bottom here is um, it's like a wool blend that I got from Wool from Stowe Market um, and uh, at least I can remember the name of that but um, today I can't in the future film <laughs> I just couldn't remember where I got it from um, and I think I'm going to make the Sephora I hope I'm saying that right um, coat uh, I, I see a lot of that and I need to find some lining to, to line that because it's a little bit itchy that one um, so I hope you've enjoyed hearing about my plans but in summary really the 2021 is about being kind to myself doing what makes me happy um, it's about um, setting plans but not being held to account for them um, I'd love to expand my sewing network this year so that includes you please um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I would absolutely love it if you do welcome on board if you're new around here um, I love being here and I hope to be here about once every two weeks or so again just give or take a little bit um, I don't want there to be pressure in my life I absolutely love being here and I don't want it to be a thing that I feel I need to do I want to do this I want to be with you guys um, I'm going to get into the world of crochet which is very exciting and I'm running again so I may well make myself some active wear so again if you've got any top tips for um, running gear um, then please do let me know and let me know where you get your lycra from um, because I, I, I don't see running like her very often it's not something I even look for I don't think so let me know in the comments below if you um, if you know of a good supplier please so um, coming up I've got um, so I've got the video that I've already filmed which is how I came about um, shopping my stash and finding out some of these um, lovely plans for the future and then I'll be sharing with you um, the recent makes at some stage um, late late in January I imagine um, by then I would have sewed up many things, including some of these I imagine. So in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and um, follow me over on YouTube where I'm also so, so mad. Um, I really appreciate that. And leave me some comments, they make the world of difference to me. Until then, stay safe and well everyone. Take care, bye bye.